Hi viewers, welcome to See the Stories on a three-hour news show. Now before we jump into our first discussion for today, let me ask my friend Krizia, who is a fellow mother. Yes. So, how is your experience in teaching math to your mm. son? Actually, I'm not an expert in that subject. But I know you, you like to teach your kids at home. Yes, are, are but not you... math. <laughs> not math. Uh, but fortunately, I think he's doing pretty well mm -hmm. without um, without needing any assistance? assistance from me. Okay. Yeah, but he recently joined... Uh, can, you, can we mention the brand? He recently joined Kumon. Ah, and that helps a lot helps a lot. He is faster now. Okay, all right. So maybe, you know, for me. Are you? I was afraid to learn math when I was in school. Same, <laughs> oh, same, same okay. girl. <laughs> but today we will learn the subject in a fun way with Abacus and Brain Gym. Joining us in the studio is Abacus Brain Gym Indonesia Regional Director and Executive Instructor, Angie Michaela Marella, who will teach us the method. Good evening, thank you so much for being here. How are you? I'm fine, thank you so much for having me. Yes. Honestly, uh, I'm quite familiar with this, not in the sense that uh, I've uh, joined the lesson or anything, yes. no. But my friends in school, they, they did this. They all and use this method. They use this method wow. and they excel in math, honestly. So yeah, I, I, think, I think we should we try should this. Yes, yes. We should try this. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's, let's dig deeper today, right. okay? Let's go. Okay, so for, uh, for the audience that is not yet familiar with this method, could you please um, explain to them before we go any further? What is Abacus and how does it work? Okay, so Abacus is actually an ancient traditional tool mm -hmm. from China mm -hmm. that used to count and the ancient versions, it has like two bits in the upper side and five bits in the lower side. Okay, perhaps you can uh, yeah, show okay. us. Okay, okay yeah. Because you just lost me there. <laughs> oh, <my name. laughs> okay, yeah. So the ancient versions, it has like two bits uh, on, ah, on the top ah, side okay, okay. and five bits on the lower side. Okay. But it has been modified, and right now it has like one upper bit mm -hmm. and four lower bits. And these newest uh, versions, actually, it is easier for us to use the abacus to count. Yeah. Uh -huh. And later, when we practice to imagine the bit, yeah, it will be like more possible and easier to us to imagine the bit. Okay. Yeah. And by this kind of versions, also, its column will uh, will has its own value. Mm -hmm. Like the columns in the middle one in here, it stands for ones. And then the column besides it's on the left side, mm -hmm. it stands for tens. And then uh, the column besides it, it stands for hundreds and so on. What about the this side? This one is decimals. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And what about the different color? Because Oh, the different color is just to make us easier to see the column. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Is it is it is it all is it the same one you know when we were little I think um, we've seen the one with like multiple colors is it the mm. same thing uh, does it work the same if the abacus has one upper bit like this and four lower bits it should be the same okay. perhaps the bits has different color okay all right wow 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 it's it looks complicated I know. me honestly <laughs> this is why she's but here. she's gonna teach us later <laughs> you're gonna teach us. Now, um, for beginners, uh, they they use this tool, right? They, yes. they don't imagine it yet yes. because they have to uh, see something concrete. Now, um, do they always do this, like <laughs> when counting, or can they eventually uh, imagine it without having to do this gesture? Okay. So yeah, basically, at the first time we practice with the concrete one, right? Yes. So they practice using their finger like this. Yes. So usually when they first time like imagine the bit movement to count, they imagine this one in their uh, mind. Yeah. So their finger like this because they imagine like they are moving the bit in I their see. mind. Like that. But usually uh, by practice, mm -hmm. some students or some uh, people can mm -hmm. do this without using without the gesture. Finger. Yes. I like see. just this poker face like this. Yeah. <laughs> 152. <laughs> Love it. Sure. Now, um, can you explain how learning to use an abacus uh, can benefit children's math skills? Okay. So basically, when we learn the abacus, we uh, learn the uh, arithmetic. Mm -hmm. 
like the basic uh, mathematical operations like addition, mm -hmm. subtraction, uh, multiplications, and divisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we have uh, to look a little bit deeper in all mathematical subjects, uh, all the materials will need these four basics, right? Mm -hmm. All the materials, no matter it is like geometry, algebra, and anything else, yeah. all of them will use like the addition, subtraction, multiplications, and divisions. Yeah. So once they master these four basic mathematical operations, mm -hmm. they will be able to count fast. So that when they learn the other material, they can do that like nice. more easier and faster as well. So this is like the basic. Yeah. Right? Yes, this is the yeah. basic because if they cannot do like addition and subtraction, yeah. for sure when they have to learn the multiplications, they will need time to count it one by one, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, that can make the students frustrated or like boring or something else like that. Makes yeah. sense, makes sense. Or now, make them give up too, right? Yeah. yeah. So at what age is it appropriate uh, to introduce children to the abacus for math learning? Okay, so uh, basically I always suggest to start learning the abacus as soon as possible. Really? Yes. Because I tried to enroll my son uh, when he was five years old and the the, what do you call it? The place, the, the place, or yeah, the instructor told me that, oh, he's too young. Maybe uh, try to uh, register again when he enters first grade. Okay, so actually, uh, I usually suggest uh, the children to start learning this one before they start learning to count with their fingers. Oh, yeah, okay, so okay. Uh, as long as they already know like number zero until nine, mm -hmm. and they know which number is bigger, they already uh, been able to start learning this one. Oh. So usually oh, it good. can be start like good. in four years old usually. Yeah. Okay. So so, so, so uh, they have to know numbers from zero, zero to, to nine. nine, and they know which one is bigger, smaller, or bigger. Yes. That's it. Yes, that's it. So our kids are seven years old. Do you think that's too late for them? To um, actually, there's <laughs> um, nothing worse like late to start learning. Okay. But yeah, if they can start learning um, like earlier. from early, yeah, earlier, it will be better. better. Oh no, we're late. <laughs> Actually, abacus not only for children. Can, oh, so we, can, can we yes. learn too? Abacus can be learned by teenagers, like and adults, adults, or even elderly up to 99 years old. Oh, okay. It can help to reduce dementia. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. She's going to teach us later, right? <laughs> yeah. But um, So are there any special techniques or methods for teaching children to use the abacus uh, effectively? So, um... Actually, there is no like specific method to teach the abacus, but uh, basically when we teach the abacus, we use the concrete. Mm -hmm. And I think all children and uh, almost most people will be easier to learn something if they have the concrete. Mm -hmm. Because they can see, they can touch the concrete and they can experience by themselves, right? So yeah, uh, we teach the abacus start from the concrete one. After they master this one, yeah. then they we try to imagine the bit movement in our mind, yeah. step by step like that. And uh, in uh, our learning center in Abacus Brain Gyms, perhaps the addition points is we learn not only by reading the questions, but we learn uh, by using the software which mm -hmm. has the listening mode. So the students practice not only by reading, but also by listening. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, can we compare this method with other methods? Because we know that nowadays there are so many methods of learning math, yes. right? Yes. And I don't think uh, one method will suit everyone, right? Mm -hmm. There's pros and cons. Yes. Now, let's talk about the pros of this abacus method compared to um, other methods such as uh, the, the ones that are using uh, pencil and paper where they should write. like very manually yes. done. <laughs> okay, so let me clarify first. So, learning the abacus, the main goal is not to count fast. Perhaps that is something that's already in our mindset, yeah. mm -hmm. and that is something that we can observe directly, right? Yeah. Right. But actually, the main goal of learning the abacus is to stimulate the brain. Okay. It is to balance the right, uh, the right brains and the left brain. So, like when we count, we are using our left brain. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we imagine something, we use our right brain. Oh, yeah. So when we uh, count by imaging the bit movement, we are using the left brain and the right brain at the same time. We're interesting. Oh, I didn't know So that. they work together yeah. so they can be more balanced. Yeah. So once our uh, brain is more balanced, uh -huh. so the brain can work more, more optimal yeah. and yeah. they can like work under 
pressure or like we can say uh, they can work with uh, more relaxed conditions. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And also like when we imagine the beat movement also, it uh, helps to increase like the concentrations, mm. the focus, like imaginations, mm. memory, like creativity, and many more. I see. So yeah. not to count so, faster. Yeah, not to count faster because the speed will come naturally yes. when the right and left brain is balanced. Yes. Now, correct. now can we compare, please, with other methods? Because my mm -hmm. my my son is doing. Uh, it's not doing abacus. Um, yeah, I know. Obviously, so, but I just want to know. It's not to. Uh, it's not to find the best, mm -hmm. but I just want to know the the benefits of the uh, of the abacus compared to other methods. Yeah. So basically, uh, like what I already mentioned before, the main goal is not for learning maths, like not to count uh, fast or something like bigger without using the scratch paper or something else. Oh, it no, is for I the got, brain. I get it. Yeah, this, the benefits is actually for the brain. So like when their brains is already balanced, they are easier and like faster to learn anything else. Like mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. not only the mathematics uh, subject, but also like subjects that need to memorize like uh, ah. history, like social or something else. Yeah, it can help also in the other uh, subject. Okay, so, so the key word is imagination. So when, when, we, when we just use paper and pencil, we just write it down and count like that. Yeah. But if we totally use our imagination using this method, yeah. then it, you can get more balance. Yeah, more balance in our brains, like imaginations, yeah. like our focus, concentrations, because uh, if you use the scratch and paper, they can just see the number there. True. But if we have to imagine, they have to e memorize like how many bits that they already have in their yeah. minds, what is the previous answers, mm -hmm. like that. So it will require like more focus and concentrations, not as simple as you can just write on in paper. So it's an exercise. Okay, I, I, get it now. I get it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, can using an abacus help children develop mental math skill? And if if yes, yeah. how? Yeah, so absolutely uh, learning abacus will help to improve like the mental maths because after they master the concrete one, mm -hmm. they have to practice like mentally, right? Yeah. They have to imagine the beat movement, they have to use their mental mm -hmm. skill to imagine uh, the abacus beats, yes. imagine the beat movements, uh, memorize also like what number they have already mentioned, uh, have before. Yeah. and. In abacus brain gyms, we also like practice, uh, like already mentioned before, in the, with the listening mode in the software, and there is also one more mode, like reading in the flash mode. What is so that? the number will pop up one by one. Okay. So yeah, it will like improve our mental skills because it will requires like more focus, like concentrations, and also it will increase our speed to count because the number will pop up one by one. You cannot see the previous number uh -huh, yes so you have to really focus and count it fast when the number is up. Wow. whoa that must that's be challenging <laughs> for us yes. so that's why you said earlier that the earlier you start the better yeah right and how can uh, parents support uh, children learning to use the abacus at home okay so yeah actually i really appreciate like if the parents want to sit uh, with their children to learn the abacus Mm -hmm. uh, the first things that the parents can do, like they can monitor what uh, mm -hmm. the, their children are learning, yeah. and they know like their progress of their children, and also they can ask their children to, like, uh, can you help to teach me how to use this? Okay. Because only most children will, uh, like, feel more, pri uh, have more pride and confidence. Like, oh, ah. like this way, this one is easy. Just move this one and this one. They have like. Uh, more motivations like oh I learned this one and I know I can teach my parents to do this yeah and then uh, they can uh, the parents and the children can also like do our practice together it can have like they have more quality time yeah. to learn together and they can compete each other <laughs> usually children like to compete they, each they other do. right yeah so they compete. okay let's compete with me who will <laughs> answer this question faster something like that usually it will motivate the children like to practice, True. to be faster like that, to beat their own parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They're very competitive, I'm very, telling you. Yes. <laughs> All right, now I cannot wait to learn because you said adults can learn too, right? Oh. Uh, okay, so now we're going to solve some math uh, cases Ooh. with the abacus. Okay. And um, our team, our creative team, team, I mean, have prepared five math cases and Angie here will teach us to use the abacus. Okay. To solve those questions. Okay. All right. 
Okay, Let's so uh, each one, each of us gets one. Yes. Okay. Okay, one for me okay. and here oh, for okay. you and for me. And what else do we need? Sorry, one more. Oh. oh. Mm, like I'm practice, nervous. practice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So, you can put it on. Yeah, here, if okay. you want. <laughs> So our left hand is holding the abacus in here. Left here? Yeah. And then we use our right hands to move the bits in here later. Yeah. So we will use the column in the middle one. Which can you Oh, this one. Yeah, the column in yes. the middle one. Okay, the one that has orange in it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it's called the column one. Okay. So uh, the, this column stands for ones. Mm -mm. Okay. So if we have one lower bit, it means one. Okay. If we have two lower bits, it means two. two. If we have three lower bits, it means three. 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 And if we have four lower bits, it means four. four. So each uh, lower bit has a value of one. Okay. 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 So now, how about five? Mm. So to make number five, we will use the upper bit. Okay. The upper bit. What? Okay. Yeah. So upper bit. Upper so the bit. upper bit is a special one because one upper bit has a value of five. Okay. Got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what do we do? I mean, we put it down or yeah. up? Yeah. Uh, we put down the upper bit. Oh. So we gotta put everything up first. Uh, no, no. Like, like so? this. No. Just make it clear. You can press the button. Ah. Okay. Like, yes. Oh, and then you it's just like put reset. One. Yeah. Reset. Got and it. Then, yeah. So that's five. Yes. And then to make number six, that means we need one upper bit and one lower one. bit. So this is seven, one upper eight, bit. nine, ten. Oh, uh, yeah. ten five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. What okay. is ten? The ten is uh, we'll use the different column later. Okay, got it. So, so how do you make six? Uh, six like here. This. One upper bit and one lower bit. Oh, okay, like that. So like five and after that six. Okay. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Is okay. it gonna be that easy? I, I, I like pressing this one. <laughs> like, I feel I feel smart. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Get it, get it, get okay. it. Okay. Okay. So let's we practice first. Okay. 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 If I have two lower bits, what number is it? Two. Two. Okay. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> if Thanks. we have four lower bits, what number is it? Four. 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 See, it's easy, right? It's still <laughs> ones, right. not tens or hundreds. We start hundreds. from the basic one first. Okay. Yes. Got it. Okay. And then if I have one upper bit? Five. 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 Nice. <laughs> if I have one upper bit and four lower bit? Nine. 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 See? <laughs> you can just nail it in one minute. Just Less the ones. than one minute. Just the ones. Okay. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay. So later when we have to move the bit, yeah. we will use uh, only two fingers. Okay. The thumb and the pointer finger. Yes. So if we want to move up the lower bits, we will use the thumb. Okay. Got it. Like thumb up. If we want to move down the lower bits, we will use finger down. Mm. So for example, plus two, thumb up. So we move two lower bits up. Okay. Minus one, we move one lower bits down, finger down. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So can we proceed to the okay. problem okay. that we're going right. to solve? Where's but <laughs> is our skill enough, by the way? Does the problem have... Uh, okay. What okay. is going on? Okay. Can you... Uh, do, do, do I read it or do you... Okay, let's read it together. Okay. okay. Nice. Let us do it together. Okay. Yes. Three. Okay, plus three. So it means we move three lower bits up. Up. Thumb up. And then plus one, we add one more bit up. Mm -hmm. Up. Okay, and then minus, minus two, two, so we move down. two lower bits down. Down. And then plus one, we move one lo lower bits up, thumb up. Yeah. So right now? Three. Three. Good job. Yes! Awesome. It's so easy. That's correct. <laughs> yes, I got it. You mean got this. Easy, <laughs> okay. right? And, 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 the first and, question and, is easy. So we got it. Time to press the button. Okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, next one. So we got it right. Okay. 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 So the next one, it has already number five, right? Yes. yes. So for the upper bits, it's a special one. We only use the pointer finger. So we move down and move up the upper bit only by using the pointer finger. 
Okay. Move. So plus five, we move okay. down the upper bit down. Yep. Yes. yes. Finger down, and then plus three, thumb up. Okay. Three. Okay. Minus two, finger down. Yep. Minus five. Huh? No, minus five. Okay, finger okay. up. Yeah. So one. What do you have? One. one. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> We're a pro. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Okay, 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 okay. I think it, for us, for us, it's easier to count without this, right? <laughs> yeah, perhaps if you already know how to count with the yeah. fingers. At the beginning, it seems like that. But yeah. if we want to learn the abacus, we have to use this one first. Yeah. Because if we don't start with this one, yeah. later when the number is bigger, like hundreds, yeah. thousands, or even millions, yeah. you cannot do it directly without right. imagine yeah. the bit movement, right? right? Okay, next. Next. Let's go. Okay. So, seven. seven. So, seven will seven. need one upper beat yes. and two, two lower beat. Lower beat. Do it at the same time. Oh, oh, what? Uh, yeah. Again? Okay. So, do it at the same oh, okay. time. Okay. Okay. Seven. And then plus two. Plus two. Come up. Two. Minus five here. Right? Minus five, yeah. Finger up. Using the pointer five, finger. Minus three. And then minus three, use your pointer finger to move down three bits. Why is it always one? One. One. <laughs> That's correct. Yes. Okay, I think we got this. Okay, so the next questions you do it by yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A, okay. Next, please, we're got. She's testing us. Okay. 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 Four, Four up. Thumb up. You think thumb up. Two, yeah. Plus five and plus one. Okay. Eight. Yes. Yes. Don't forget when you move the up the lower bit using the thumb. Oh yeah. Thumb. Okay. <laughs> okay. Easy Reset. Pool, right? <laughs> it's easy for this, but we don't know the next one. Do we still have, we any, have an... anything? Oh, oh any okay, more? one more. Okay. Okay, don't forget nine. That means you have to move it at the same time. Oh, nine, yes. two. Yes, that's correct. I think we're a pro now. Five. For this yes. this line only. Nine is three. Plus one. <laughs> two. Yes, two. <laughs> Got it! Yay! <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Can can we do another one? Like uh, the, you you've told us about the ones, right? Yes. What about the tens? The tens can you give means you, Yeah. The tens means you uh, you have one bit in the tens columns, like this. Oh, that's ten. Next yes. Two. Oh. Okay. So if you have like two bits, uh, two lower bits 20. in the column two, that means twenty. Okay. So for 30, example, 40. Yeah, 30, 40, and then 50. Oh, so it's quite similar, but you similar. add zero behind. Yeah. So if you have like this, uh, two lower bits in the column two and uh, one upper bit in the column one, that means it is 25. Five. So it, actually it's easy because we can just read the number like oh. we are reading in the book. So but from the left to the right. So this is, this is 24, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, can you give us uh, a problem? But we're gonna have to take a little break, right, Annie? Yes, yes. So uh, we're gonna continue our talk with Angie after the break. Stay tuned right here on the Three Hour News Show on C today. Welcome back to the three hour news show on CJ and we are still on the See the Story segment. Now before the break, I asked Angie right here to teach us about the tens. We've learned once, now we are proceeding to tens. Okay. And during the commercial break, you have taught us a little bit. Yeah. And now time to test us. <laughs> oh my okay. sure. Just one problem. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Okay. So <laughs> ten. Ten. Uh, oops, sorry. Yep. Okay. Plus 15. Okay. Plus 20. Uh -huh. Minus 10. 35. Yes. 35. Exactly. I think I got it right. Yes, you, yeah. did. you did. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Good job. We're, we're starting to improve. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Now, um, <laughs> we already talked about abacus. Um, and Learn how, how, to, do how it. to do the math case with it. And today we will also discuss about, guess what? What is it? Brain gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, not just muscle gym. Yeah, yeah. Brain has muscle too. 
Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. But we're doing brain gym anyway today. So let's proceed to uh, the first question for this topic. What is brain gym and how does it differ from traditional physical exercises? Okay. So brain gym is a series of physical activities mm -hmm. that aims to uh, shape the neural pathways and also activates the brain and also all the entire body to be ready to learn uh, certain skills. Mm. So perhaps the difference with the traditional uh, physical activities, usually the traditional physical activities, uh, the focus is for physical health. Yes. Just as like to increase the strength, stamina, like to relax the muscles, yeah, yeah something like that. But uh, the brain gym's movement that has the other benefits that aims to like activate the brains. So actually brain gym has a benefits in any aspect of our daily life. Mm -hmm. So for example, like uh, it can help to improve reading skills mm -hmm. or like me right now, I, I have to speak in front of the public. Mm -hmm. It can be helped by using the brain gym's uh, oh, okay. movement as well. Okay, okay. Very useful. Can, can you perhaps give uh, some example? Uh, example of the movement? Yes, yes. example okay. of the brain gym activity. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Okay. okay. Oh, let's put okay. this back first. Okay. So, I will show you the simple one first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, this uh, movement called brain buttons. Uh -huh. So, uh, one hand, you can put it on the chest. Like, if you notice, under the neck, there is like a bone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bone in here. Then under the bone, <laughs> there is like, um, like a hollow or... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Can you feel it? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, you can massage it gently, don't too hard. Yeah, just mas massage it. Okay, and then the other hand, just put it on... Uh, the belly button. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now you can see, uh, you can find a horizontal line in front of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then your eyes can follow that horizontal line from the left to the right, go back to right, uh, go back to the left, right again, left again, slowly. Oh. Find any any horizontal line in front of you. Then you can look uh, your eyes oh, from the left the to the right. Yeah. Your eyes, not your head. Okay. I, I get mixed up between <laughs> horizontal and vertical. <laughs> okay. I need brain gym. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So actually, uh, this movement can help to in, uh, increase like the focus, concentrations, like the energy level in our body. Mm -hmm. Like it can help to increase the vision as well. Oh. And by practice, it can also help like the reading reading skills, writing skills, speaking skills, and many more. Does it make us relax too? Just yeah. Because, did you know this? I just yawn. <laughs> yeah. I feel so relaxed. Yes, that's that's correct. Yeah. Okay. It activates like uh, make us relax, so we can like be uh, more focused, right, be more concentrated. Right. And how long do you have to do this? Actually, uh, there is no specific time. Yeah. How long do you have to to do it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you feel like oh I I already uh, got enough like focus or mm -hmm. concentrations, then you can just stop. Okay. Or you can switch your hands as well. Oh, okay. Like that. All right. Easy. Are there any other exercises? Okay. You show us? The other one, let's. Uh, We're gonna stand, stand up. up. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So the second movement that I want to show you is called cross crawl. Uh, cross crawl. Uh huh. It looks like um, physical activities. Yeah. So we will bring together the right elbow with the left knee. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Just try your best. Don't put it too well, hard. I want. I don't want to fall heels. down. Or okay. Have a twist. Oh. Yeah. Just try your best, but. Oh. Try not to ah, bend. We can Try not to bend, bend. forward. Yeah. yeah. So you can just do like that. <laughs> yeah. So this one actually, we cross the midline of oh. our body. It to help to increase the coordination between the left uh, the left part of our body with yes. the right part of our body. Okay. Yeah, it also can help to improve like the breathing, the mm -hmm. stamina. So it will be like activates all the body. Okay. Oh, Full so body. right now we are ready to learn some things. Okay, I didn't know that a simple exercise can yeah. have so much benefits. Yeah, it's it looks like simple and <laughs> perhaps you do it when you have uh, gyms or sports. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but actually some of the movement can activate the brain. So this is what I'm going to nice. make my daughter do before she does her homework. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, do this first. Yes. <laughs> and do the one with the horizontal oh, yeah. line. 
actually uh, that's two uh, movement is really good if we can practice every day yeah. before okay. we start uh, like learning or working because it activates okay. our body to be ready to learn something. All right. Okay. okay we, we can sit down again. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So, do you have any more questions? Oh, all right, so now we want to know. Breathe. Um, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> that was a workout, guys. No, I'm joking. How brain gym activities help improve focus and concentration in children? I think you mentioned it earlier, but yeah. can you elaborate some more? Okay, yeah, so um, like I already mentioned before, like the brain gym has benefits in any aspect of our daily life. One of them is to increase the focus and concentrations. So uh, when we uh, do like uh, specific uh, brain gym movement, mm -hmm that aims to activate some points in our brains like to be more focused yeah, yeah one of the example of the activity the activity or the movement is the one that we just did mm -hmm. the brain button one mm -hmm. yeah. but there are some more uh, movement actually to increase the focus and the concentrations nice all right now we we understand that nowadays uh, Teachers are excellent you know it's very very different than in our eras yeah. because most of us afraid of math. It's so intimidating because I don't know. I'm not blaming the teacher, but yeah. just the the way of learning. Yeah. Uh, at, at, while we were young, it's so different than now. However, there are still parents and children who who still feel anxious despite all that. Now, do you have um, any anything to say to them, perhaps, or any advice? Okay. So actually, I think there's no advice that can be really applied to all parents and. Mm -hmm children's because it's parents and children will have their own parenting style their learning right. style yeah. like their uh, personality or something else that can vary uh, from one children to another one yeah. but perhaps uh, one of the simplest advice that we can do to avoid them uh, we can give the children's like simple or easy game mm. related to the number or mathematics then when they already been able to do it well and fast, we can appreciate them. Like, mm -hmm. wow, you're doing so amazing. You can do it so fast, like something else like that. Mm -hmm. So the children can get more confidence. Oh, I'm good enough to do that. Yeah. That's easy. Like mathematics number is easy. And then we can move, like give them like more, a little bit more complicated or harder level of games. Then give them the compliments again. So step by step, starting from the very easy one, so we um, gain their confidence first, their love of learning uh, the maths until step by step we reach the material that they actually have to learn mm. in the mathematics. Or for example, if the children love to compete, love competitions, yeah. you can do like simple mathematics questions. Mm -hmm. You can compete with your children, let them win. <laughs> so, important. Yeah, Very let important. them win first. <laughs> so they feel like, oh, I can do better. So mm -hmm. they will be like, uh, I have to practice more. I have to learn more. So next time I will win again. Win again. I will mm -hmm. beat my parents or something else. Yeah, that is a simple like competi competitions or actually, as already mentioned before, like in Abacus Project, we use the software. Mm -hmm. So when the children practice the software, Actually, uh, they automatically join the competitions, the international competitions. Mm. So when they practice, yeah. they will be like get more motivated. Oh, I want to practice more so I can win because the competition is counted based on the diligence oh, and the okay. consistency of practicing, not by how fast you can answer the questions, yes. but by how diligent you practice. Yeah. So later when they practice more because they want to win, they will be more fluent, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they will find it is like, oh, it is easier right now because by practice, mm -hmm. something will be easier. Oh, amazing, amazing method. Angie, thank you so much for coming to the studio and sharing your insights about Abacus and also Brain Gym. We really appreciate it. And we will practice it too. Yeah. Thank you for teaching us with that, by the way. Sure, you're welcome. <laughs> All right then, see the stories will continue after the break. Please stay with us.